In this video, I will show you the step-by-step -step process of calculation of cement sand quantity for motor. As we know, at the very first stage in a construction field, we have to estimate the quantity of cement and sand for motor mixing. Motor is normally used for wall plastering, brickwork, ceiling plastering and many other regular construction jobs. So we have to follow just a simple process of ratio and proportion for calculating the exact quantity of motor. Hi, my name is Sumon and I make videos on civil engineering practical knowledge. So before going to the topic, I request you to please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any upcoming civil engineering updates. So let's unbox the topic first without wasting any time. First of all, we will take a tour of the previous video which was made on calculation of numbers of bricks in a 10 meter length of wall. In that video, we got the total volume of the given brick wall with motor as 7.2 mq and total volume of all bricks as 5.534 mq. So now our intention is to find out the quantity of motor only. So for getting the motor quantity, we have to subtract from 7.2 mq to 5.534 mq and we get the motor quantity which is equal to 1.66 mq. So dear, if you want to learn the PPS topic, the link has been provided in the description box. Please go through that topic. Now we having the motor quantity as 1.66 mq. Remember, this amount of quantity is weight volume of motor. So, for converting the volume to dry volume, we have to multiply 1.33 extra to the weight volume. After doing that, we got the value as 2.20 mq, which is the dry volume of motor. Remember, the constant 1.33 we are taking because in dry volume of cement sand, there must be presence of air voids in between the particles. So that is why the increment of volume at the dry condition is happening. While when we are placing the motor at brickwork, that dry motor is mixed thoroughly with water and voids gets vanished. So weight volume get decreased. I hope you got the concept. Now coming to the main concept. As we are constructing a brick wall, so we have to take the ratio of motor as 1 is to 6, where 1 denotes 1 unit of cement and 6 denotes 6 units of sand. So the quantity of cement which is required is 1 divided by 1 plus 6 multiplied by 2.20 and we get the value as 0 0.314 meter cube. Now as we know density of cement is 1440 kg per meter cube that density of the cement have to be multiplied with the already taken value 0.314. So now we get the quantity of cement in kgs which is equal to 452.16 kgs. And as we know one bag of cement equals to 50 kgs of cement. So the quantity of cement in bags we have to just calculate so after dividing with 50 kg of cement with 452.16 kg of total amount of cement in kg we got 9.04 bags so roughly we can say that 9 bags of cement is required for 2.20 mq volume of mortar with 1 is to 6 ratio now the quantity of sand is 6 by 1 plus 6 multiplied by 2.20 and we get the quantity of sand as 1.885 meter cube and the quantity of sand in cubic feet we already know that if I multiply 35.314 with the mq value then we get the value as in cubic feet. So we got the value 66.56 cubic feet of sand is required for 2.20 mq volume of motor with a ratio of 1 is to 6.
So by approximation we can say that for 1 cubic meter of brickwork 240 thick wall we have the requirement of 4 bags of cement and 30 cubic feet of sand for a ratio of 1 is to 6 cement mortar. So this is it for today. How you got the concept please let me know by commenting below in the comment box. And if you think that something you have learned from this video please do like share and subscribe to my channel. Your bold hearted subscription always encourages me to make more videos like this. So that's it for today. Catch you in the next civil unboxing topic. Till then thank you all.